Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month ago, I posted a video that if you were still running Windows 8.1, the operating system will reach its end of support on the 10th of January next year. Now, once again, just another quick friendly reminder that um, if you are running Windows 8.1 and also Windows 7 ESU, give or take about a month from today in my region, you have one month left before those operating systems reach their end of life and end of support on the 10th of January. And that's not the only change taking place early next year for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, as I have posted just a couple of days ago. Um, Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, when their browsers reach versions 110 the week of the 7th to the 9th of February, those browsers will then also become unsupported on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. So um, quite a lot happening in the world of Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 early next year. Now, um, as mentioned, just another quick video to give you a quick heads up and just to make a couple of options available if you do find yourself running the operating systems. Now, I have found, and um, it's obviously a known fact that a lot of um, users do found Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 still very um, reliable and useful operating systems. But um, it goes without saying that after the 10th of January, um, nothing's really going to change with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. The operating system will still work fine. The apps will still run. The only difference is you won't get those all-important security updates. So the longer you leave upgrading, as an example, and the more the months roll out after the 10th of January, obviously um, the operating system can um, become open to threat and attack, which is not a good idea. And then, as mentioned, on the 7th to the 9th of February, that week of that of to the 7th of 9th of February, the Chrome and Edge browsers will be reaching the end of life. So that's your first line of defense. So um, not a good idea to have unsupported browsers. So you can stay on Windows 7 and 8.1, but um, I would suggest that after a couple of months, you need to make a plan. And then um, you can obviously upgrade to Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, I did post a video in this regard just a couple of days ago that you can actually upgrade to both operating systems for free if you still have an old Windows 7 or 8.1 uh, license key. Now, Obviously, most users running a Windows 8 or Windows 7 machine will only be able to upgrade to Windows 10 because I don't think many of those devices will be able to run Windows 11 with the um, system requirements for Windows 11. But you still have an option to upgrade for free using your old product key and your old license key. And uh, by the way, I'll leave a video links to previous videos I'm mentioning in this video in the description if you would just like more info. And then you have a third option. You can actually change to Linux. Now, this is actually a great option if you are running an older machine. And um, you can upgrade to Linux Mint. I actually dual boot my Windows 10 um, device with uh, Linux Mint. And Linux Mint is very similar to uh, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10. Another option is Zorin OS, very similar to how Windows runs. And another option is Linux Lite, very um, good oper operating system when it comes to Linux, very basic, but very similar to how a Windows operating system would run. So you have a couple of options. I would suggest Linux Mint, Zorin OS, or um, Linux Lite. Those are some Linux options that will run flawlessly on any older hardware and um, an older device. And then obviously, it goes without saying, you can purchase a new PC um, that runs Windows 10 or Windows 11, Linux or a Mac. And um, that means you will obviously have to fork out a bit of cash. But nonetheless, that is a option. So as mentioned, just a friendly reminder, 10th of January next year, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 reach the end of support and end of life. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.